you know, e each season represents a new beginning. We have a new team, a new group of guys. What happened uh, last year has no really bearing on this year. You know, ASU has a new coach. Uh, we had two incredible seasons the last couple of years. Our focus isn't on the negative. It's on our total body of work. For example, today's game is, is one of 18 that we play. And uh, the fact that we beat ASU, I think, is a testament to our team because ASU has a heck of a basketball team. And uh, I think Bobby Hurley and his staff deserve a tremendous amount of credit. Their team has a great confidence about them, an edge in a good way, and they play with a, a lot of energy. And if you look at their non-conference schedule and the teams that they beat, uh, they've done a great job, not only for their program, but for our entire league. So we knew we were going to be challenged. The fact that we won in here this year uh, is something that we're very, very proud of because uh, we beat a really good basketball team. We were down 20 21, you called a timeout. Did something change or anything to, to spark that? You know, our defense improved uh, halfway through the first half. And I'll say this it's not always a lack of on our end. You know, ASU hit some tough shots. And, uh, and they also uh, earned some really good baskets. They, they got some key second shots midway through the first half that gave them that lead. So, you know, for us, we wanted to just kind of get back to playing our brand of defense, keep them off the glass, you know, just keep staying with, with as good of a defense as we can play. And they're not an easy team to guard. I thought we did a great job on Trey Holder. You look at the stat sheet, he has 24 points, what, four assists, one turnover. So you have him, but you also have six or seven other people on the court, their subs included, who, who can score. So uh, they're a tough team to defend, and uh, I thought for the most part we did a good job once we got through that first maybe 10 minutes of the first half, and then we fouled a lot in the second half, which hurt us. Gabe's three-pointer shot uh, gave you guys some separation. What does it say about him to, to hit those type of shots in this kind of atmosphere? You know, Gabe's been with us really for the last five years. You know, he signed with us early as a senior in high school, and then he's been with us, you know, for three years. And he's the ultimate testament of what college basketball sports is because he has earned his stripes. He has practiced. He's been on a team where he barely played. He's been on a team where he was a, a key sub. A year ago, he was a huge part of our success, and then. The, be, the different seat on the bus he has this year is he's your senior leader and one of our best players. And if you just look at what he's done at Gonzaga and, and at ASU, he uh, not just because he's making shots, but he's a better defensive player and gives our team confidence. He's a big reason why we won today. You talked about your balance kind of all throughout the season. Five, all five stars in double figures, two of them over 20. Um, it seemed like today you guys were really getting the hot hand. You saw early Milo's big game. How good are these guys at not just finding the open man, but finding the hot man and getting the guy into a rhythm. It's like you guys have <coughs> Well, that's the development of an offense over time. We had a great week of practice. We worked really hard since the Christmas break and on a lot of those things. And I think the key stat for us today is we played with eight turnovers. You know, if you go back to our Providence game, um, a very similar team in many ways. We had 21. And, you know, you lose a heartbreaker. Uh, so I think the eight turnovers allows you to get the ball to people that should get it. If you're turning it over, a lot of times your intent may be right, but you're not executing. So our execution was good, and uh, certainly we have a long way to go here early in the conference season. But to score the points we did tonight, uh, a lot of good things happened for us on offense. Sure. Even after falling to these guys the last couple of years ago, you feel pretty good to get a win here today? Yeah, most definitely. You know, it's a, a place where you know, the last two years we lost, and you know, that's, that was always in the back of my mind. I know for Caleb as well, you know, he was lucky. He was able to play today, but he also came out with the intensity and the fire you know, that we didn't really have. Um, so, you know, it, it was definitely an exciting win for us. I think, you know, we got two more road games, so we have to uh, move on to the next two. Um, but, you know, it was definitely fulfilling. What was that moment like for you at the end, being able to go over to the fans? Oh, it was amazing, you know, all the, the mess they talked and all the things that you hear throughout the, the game, especially the last three years. Um, you know, it was definitely fulfilling to go over there and just clap my hand and, you know, raise my hands up and just let them know that you know, it was a hard-fought win. Um, 
and then, you know, we did it. Alonzo, what did you like about the way you guys stay consistent there down there? Um, I think we just stay true to what we do, and, you know, we were confident in our game plan, and we kept executing. You know, they got hot. They had a span where they made some shots. They banked some threes, and it was incredible. Um, but, you know, they went cold. We went, went on a cold streak because we continued to do what we did and trusted our defense, and, um, and it held up for us, and it does most of the time. We stick together, and we, we trust each other.